Welcome to Wrestling Talk in the Shop. Well, where we will review wrestling memorabilia and talk all things professional wrestling straight from the wrestling ring. Hey, this is Jonathan from Wrestling Talk in the Shop, and today we're going to go over Inside Wrestling from October 1972 with Don Leo Jonathan on the cover and Andre the Giant. The original cost price was 60 cents. Come this way and we'll look right over it. Great cover. Color cover. Most of these magazines don't have a lot of color in them, but we're going to go through it and look it over. Advertisement. There's a table of contents right here. The official wrestling ratings. You can take a look. We'll read the top ones off. Pedro Morales of the WWF, Vern Gagne, AWA, Midgets, Little Beaver, <laughs> and then the NWA, pa Dory Funk Jr., Tag Teams, the Kangaroos, and the women, of course, Fabulous Moolah. The Fan Club Corner, Jack Briscoe relaxes in the dressing room. Before a match, he and his brother Jerry have a dynamic fan club. Advertisements. News from the wrestling capital of the world. Ernie Ladd last stunned as a match against Pat Patterson is stopped. Another shot of some next rap magazines. Well built Carl Gotch is considered by his fellow wrestlers to be the master of holds above Carl and Renee. Gauntlet, I can't pronounce that right, congratulates each other after winning the WWF Tag Team Championships. More advertisements. The Sheik. Is this man the Sheik's brother? <laughs> Memphisito bears a striking resemblance to the Sheik above. They're so similar, many insiders believe they may be brothers. Looks like they're trying to put a story on there. <laughs> the Fargo's above pose with their NWF Tag Team Championships. Left Donnie consoles Johnny after he lost a fall top left while Donnie smokes a cigar Johnny holds a bottle of booze from training pushing the live live fast life there oh yeah more shots of Donnie and Donnie Fargo Don Fargo Mixed matches. Yeah. Husband and wives wrestling side by side. Wherever mixed matches are permitted. I guess they didn't allow it everywhere. Fans go crazy over them. And now some cunning promoters have added even more spice to this unique kind of competition. Trying to... Dan and Bill Miller raise their arms after publishing... Polishing. Polishing off their pair of opponents. This is how they looked when they teamed up. Murder Inc. Days. Huh. The Greek Wrecking Crew. Look at that hole he's got on him. It's like a double mandible. Yeah. The girls invade New York. Ringside of Wrestling History. Moolah. Yep. World Champion Fabulous Moolah waits in her corner before the history making match in Madison Square Garden gets underway. I guess they had it during uh, 4th of July. Yeah. Mm. 
Here's the Knights of the Giants went to war. Don Leo Johnson, far left, holds his arms high as cheering fans clamor for an autograph, but his ovation didn't match that was given to Jean Fierre, Andre the Giant, left when he was introduced below. The moments all Canada was waiting for finally coming to pass is Fierre and Don Leo Johnson shake hands before the beginning of the contest. Muscles rippling, sweat pouring down. Gene and Don Leo hook up in the first highlight of their battle. A test of strength. Fans gasped as Gene slowly forced Don Leo backwards and won the test of strength, giving the huge Frenchman first blood and a psychological advantage. I think it's Gene, Don, Don, I don't know how they pronounce it. It's Gene. After those three successful drop kicks, Jonathan goes up for a fourth ab above his, yeah. But his strategy backfires as Fierre right moves towards him and catches him in the mid mid air. Gene applies a breath bear hug, <laughs> and almost and Jonathan almost gives up to the point at this point. I wonder. I bet this was but when Andre was. He was booked out of Canada at this time. I bet it was before Vince, he went to New York. He's young. Yeah. Slender. The match was clean fought up until the time Jonathan slammed his knee into Gene. Uh, Gene Fear holds Jonathan in a hammerlock, giving both men a breather. Uh, Fear tries to put Don's lights out with his sleeper, however, Jonathan was able to break out of it. And uh, he did not like that. Andre didn't. <laughs> so the anger on Gene's face is apparent as he tries to choke Don Leo Jonathan to death along the ropes. The referee can't pull the giant off and has to ask for help. Every wrestler on the card tries to hold Fear back as he still tries to get Jonathan, although the bout is over. Little Mike Graham grows up. Eddie Graham's son. Sad way. Their their story second to the Von Erics, I think. Some good shots. Eddie and Mike. Eddie poses with Mike before Mike's match. He sure looks like a proud dad. The Funks, have you forgotten who we are in the war? Dory Funk Jr. and his kid brother Terry are no longer the international tag team champions. But what Riled Terry even more than losing the title was the way the Southern California Southern California fans treated him in his brother when he when the match was over and he let them know what was on his mind. Beast and the butcher. For world of pen pals. What is this? I guess people writing in. Oh, I guess so. Hmm. Yeah. Fred Curry's heartbreaking decision. I had to leave my father to restore our good name. Although few others do flying, Fred Curry loves his father. They have always been very close, but Fred knew that someday he'd have to, what's that say? Re oh, I don't know, repudiate his dad's some of his dad style, even if it broke his father's heart. So I guess it means he had to change his style. Yeah. Well, look at that. Crazy, isn't it? 
Look at my brows. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hope they'll bring those back. <laughs> Although Fred admires his father, he just can't get used to his bull style, which consists of such. I don't know what that Atrocities is. Atrocities is attacking female fans. Look at him. Yeah. And, uh, let me see where they log off. And photographers, as staff photographer Tony Lonza discovers, sure our styles in the ring are different. Fred notes, but he's a great father and a great person, and he taught me everything I know about wrestling. So, he tried to get crowd involvement in a little bit different way. <laughs> yeah. There you can retire before 50. Yeah, not in this day and age. <laughs> Probably wasn't all that common then either. There's Bruno San Martino was the subject of the end. This is your life story inside wrestling October 1970. I guess this is people right now. Save up to two gallons of gas every hour. <laughs> on the Fargo's. Yeah. Oh man, that TNT Turner. Who's that? Oh, that's her. Okay, I thought yeah. it was Ted Turner. No, this is oh, before, probably before Ted Turner. Wow, well, Sheik's brother. I guess they continued some of the articles back here. Fred Curry continued article. And that's gonna conclude. And then we'll look at the back. That's pretty much it. Yeah. We'll go over a couple other things here. Look at this all-star wrestling 